it's the most wonderful time of the year. It is the moment the magic starts when the lights come on at the Jack Antonio houses. Even Santa stops by. <laughs> on one street in central Halifax, where family meets community. The first big decoration was the reindeer in Santa Claus. Carmen Giacomantonio says he flew reindeer from his roof for his mother, who dreamed of elaborate decorations while raising her children in Whitney Pier, Cape Breton. She would be emotional over the whole thing, and we would be so proud about you know, bringing that to her. Three doors down, his brother also creates an intricate display. For those first few days, you're like cursing, why, why am I doing this again? And then when you switch it on, you say, oh, that's what. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. It grows each year. I didn't send you a Christmas card, Charlie Brown. With each brother, both Halifax doctors adding a little something more. Is it a competition? You know, I like to say no, but it is really, I guess. If we get brighter, he will be brighter. <laughs> How many lights do you think are on these? A million. They actually have no idea, but on this tree alone, there are 5,000. It takes about a month to set it all up, and then for another month, hundreds stream by each night. I think the energy they put into this is spectacular. I mean, the community gets to enjoy so much of their time and creativity, but I think more importantly, the charities that are involved. They now raise up to $10,000 a season. 20 years ago, there was just a box in a jar, now there are also QR codes allowing people to choose from a selection of charities. Nick matches donations. One lady one year said, uh, she gave me a check for $1,000 and said, from one Charlie Brown lover to another. <laughs> I had to, had to gulp that one. <laughs> for many years, the houses between theirs were largely dark. Not anymore. I think they just gave in. <laughs> After we bought the home, a lot of my friends were like, you realize you just moved into Christmas town. He admits they feel a little pressure to keep up with the Joneses, I mean, the Giacomantonios, but says they love being part of a community bringing so much joy. My seven-year-old daughter thinks we live in the North Pole. We walk around every night and see what Santa's doing next door, and so she loves it. The Giacomantonios say they know Christmas can be a tough time for some. That's part of why they do this. It doesn't matter how big the town or city is, there's always community. We're all in some community. And this is just reflective of uh, the spirit of um, giving. And of course, for their mother, who died 13 years ago. Every year we raise a glass to mom and say, you know, we got it done again. A tribute now felt by an entire community. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.